Well, hello again from Kingston. I'm on the uh, west side of the third crossing today, where there's a great deal of concrete being poured at the uh, west abutment. Much more to tell this week. Let's go and have a look. We closed last week with Bridget disassembled and ready to transport. This week, the outload began. Trailers began to arrive early on Monday morning and the process continued right until Thursday afternoon. The weight in the air weighs more than 14 tonnes or nearly 32,000 pounds. When you realise that these two weights are 20 tonnes in total, you understand why a trailer only carries two at a time. Trucks from several companies were involved in the outload. With a variety of load configurations. Boom sections, of course, were included in the overall activity. On a very foggy Thursday morning, the specialist transporter to move the crane body arrived. Meticulous preparation is essential, and positioning of the body on the transporter is absolutely critical with just inches of clearance involved. Almost imperceptibly here, Bridget's built-in jacks relax her onto the trailer. And before long, she's off up the hill and away to North Bay, where she'll be in storage until her next task. Practically the last parts to leave were her massive tracks, occupying a trailer each. With Bridget's departure, just one LR1300 remains to be disassembled and removed. And for that reason, the LR1200 was moved across the lift bridge on Friday in preparation to assist in her disassembly. On Monday morning, just above the point where the cranes were operating, Tomlinson began the excavation of a significant drainage trench. Nearby, Black and MacDonald were installing more light bases. Closer to Highway 15, the roads crew have been working very hard to complete preparations of the base layer for the new roadway. Work began this week to complete the south side of Gore Road, approaching Highway 15. And by Friday afternoon, Almost all of the upper roadway base layer was being levelled and finished. There's been significant work this week too on the steel structure, with guardrails being installed and more of the large concrete slabs both delivered and placed. Note the use of the Miller Edge safety frame. Edge safety equipment has the tremendous benefit of being able to be uh, moved around as required. Elsewhere on the steel, a surveyor was moving around very carefully. 
amongst his tasks, constant monitoring of the steel structure to ensure that no unexpected movement is occurring. Moving westward, the excavation of gravel beneath the concrete bridge continues. Much of this recovered material then goes east to contribute to the new roadbed. Concrete slabs were being laid in the west this week too, and deliveries from uh, DCAST were made to both east and west. Rather surprisingly, it wasn't until Friday that the Gomaka machine had a run out on the west end. work it performed was significant in that we're now seeing the beginnings of the concrete sections joining the land. Earlier I glossed over Thursday morning's fog so you might like to see exactly what conditions were. And now some wildlife. Well, thanks for watching. That's one more week in the bag. Be sure and uh, subscribe to ensure you get notifications of future updates. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe. Bye now.